Hello, hello. I am Terry B. Jones coming to you on today with We Voice It, where we're sharing with you really cool things that you can do with your Amazon Alexa Echo device. Alexa, say hi. Hello. All right. So that's your girl. Just kind of hang out with her today. And hopefully you have a device as well. If not, you can actually take advantage of a lot of cool things right there from your smartphone when you download the app. Okay. So guess what? I am originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. I know you can hear it a little bit in my tone. Who that? Okay. And so what I wanted to share today is how you can get some really cool information about Mardi Gras. Okay. Fat Tuesday. You know, that's what it's called uh, throughout the world. Of course, in New Orleans, we also call it carnival. So those are three different terms that you're going to hear people reference, you know, Mardi Gras. Okay. And so first of all, I know a lot of people have heard of Mardi Gras. You know, I grew up with Mardi Gras. Okay. And so just want to share with you what it is. And how people celebrate it. Now, let's see if Alexa can tell us. Alexa, what is Mardi Gras? The Mario Brothers are two of the main characters in Alexa, the Nintendo's Mario series. Of stop. Alexa, tell me facts about Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, or Fat Tuesday refers to events of the carnival celebration, beginning on or after the Christian feasts of the Epiphany and culminating on the day before Ash Wednesday, which is known as Shrove Tuesday. So you have it right there, okay? Sometimes, you know, it has to get used to your accent or your voice, okay? And so at first you saw I was telling me information about Mario, okay? Even though I said Mardi Gras. Okay, and so that will happen. Okay, these are machines. Keep that in mind. Okay, and we have to train her. All right, to our voice. All right, and so that is just one thing right there that you can ask. All right, let's see if I ask Alexa, what is Fat Tuesday? Mardi Gras or Fat Tuesday refers to events of the carnival celebration beginning on or after the Christian feasts of the Epiphany and culminating on the day before Ash Wednesday, which is known as Shrove Tuesday. Mardi Gras is French for Fat Tuesday, reflecting the practice of the last night of eating rich, fatty foods before the ritual Lenten sacrifices and fasting of the Lenten season. So, if you grew up in New Orleans, you will know, you know, pretty much a lot of this same information, okay? But... I can't take it for granted that those of you listening right now is from New Orleans, okay? But you may have attended or you may have seen something on TV about it. And so I just wanted to share with you, you know, there's some things you can ask, you know. And let's see about some of the food. Let's see if it can share something. Alexa, what are some Fat Tuesday foods to eat? Here's something I found on reference.com. On Fat Tuesday, or Mardi Gras, people tend to indulge in sweet, rich and fatty foods as a last hurrah before the Lenten period of fasting that begins the next day on Ash Wednesday. Traditional pre-Lenten foods consumed on Fat Tuesday include pancakes, donuts and pastries. Different parts of the world may have different takes on these foods. For example, the Portuguese have a type of donut known as a malasada, which is a rounded ball of fried dough dusted with sugar. While the Polish make a type of donut known as a pakski, which is also rounded in shape but is filled with jelly and either glazed or dusted with powdered sugar. Did that answer your question? Yes. Thanks for your feedback. So when I grew up in New Orleans, the things that we ate was red beans and rice. You could go to anybody's house. You can get some gumbo, some crawfish etouffee. I mean, pretty much all of the New Orleans dishes and the main dessert 
was the king cake, okay? And so that is something that they were just sharing here on the device, okay? And so those are some of the things that uh, we did growing up. I have actually not been to New Orleans uh, for Mardi Gras in a long time, okay? And I'm going to share with you a reason why, okay? And so basically, uh, you already heard what it is, all right? It's called Fat Tuesday, and it is the day before Ash Wednesday, okay? Which marks the start of Christian Lent season leading up to Easter, which is the crucifixion of Jesus, right? And so basically, during the Lent season, many Christians are fast, okay? And so Fat Tuesday is the last day of eating food before you fast, okay? So basically what they're saying, hey, we're going to do it up. Okay, we're going to eat any and everything that we want to eat. We want to drink anything that we want to drink and just have a ball because to starting tomorrow for the next 40 days leading up to Easter, which is the crucifixion of Christ. You know, we're going to fast and we're going to spend some time, you know, in reverence to this. Okay, so to me, it's like you deciding to sin. <laughs> to get ready, you know, to purify yourself. So that's the reason why I chose not to go, you know, because I'm like, it just don't add up, okay? And because every day we should, in moderation, you know, do whatever it is we do and not have this one day, you know, that was like, hey, we're just going to do it up. And everybody from around the world actually has this same mindset. It's like, hey, let's go do it up in new orleans for mardi gras okay and so you can share with me you know of uh, what your thoughts are you know on the mardi gras celebration and if you do not own a echo device you can go to wevoiceit.com click on the shop tab and look at the different devices that are available okay so that you can see some of these different skills that may have, you know, images, pictures, or video, all these types of things you can actually take advantage of if you were to, you know, purchase like an Echo Show or Echo Show 5, Echo Show 8, those types of things, okay? So I am Terry B. Jones coming to you live and we voice it.